There are very many people with disabilities that go through hard time. That's why people with disabilities lack self-esteem because they don't have that person to lean on, some person who is going to motivate them. So I just chose my life to motivate people with disabilities. So many parents have really limited their children on their talents. Like when I was in my family, like I was always given a clear and a straight t talk that Joseph, you don't have to be a dancer. Have you seen any person with a disability who is dancing? You can't do that. You will be ashaming us. We can't even accept that. And if you choose it for failures, so they were always restricting me, stopping me from my passion, from something I wanted since childhood. I really, I don't even sometimes want to think about it. It, it really always felt bad when I'm seeing people going out to dance and I can't do because I'm scared. When I do it, my parents would push me out of the house and I had no say and I had no role models to show that people, look, this person is doing this. When I was stopped by my parents, they were, they were always advised me like I should concentrate in school and I study. I did computer science, I graduated and uh, I started looking for jobs like any other normal person, but things weren't really going on easy. I hated it because every office I always entered in, they were like, Joseph, we can't give you. And I, I always did not understand this because it's just sitting and you do your work on the computer. People were just focusing on my appearance, not what I know, what skills do I have. So they judge you before they even get to know who you are. I decided to join athletics the wheelchair racing and I really worked hard. I became the Uganda champion by that time. Two gold medals in that. Yes. Um, I still felt that that was not enough for me. I'm holding a record on a East African bicycle tour. We started in Uganda. We cycled to Kenya, Tanzania, Blundi and Rwanda then back to Uganda. Every day we were cycling 100 and 50 or 30 kilometers, it will depend on the weather. I was the only person on the wheelchair. One thing I came to realize, when God takes away something from you, gives you something in return and in extra. There's something that always kills me when people say disabled. It, to me it sounds rude. Me, I'm not a disabled person. I've accepted who I am and I find it so fine. I just need to find more opportunities to show that I'm unique in my own way. <laughs> I bet you that's dead. <laughs> we have ability, we just need opportunities. <laughs> 